Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has sounded the alarm about an asteroid with a troubling probability of colliding with Earth. Kaboom! Let's break down this cosmic conundrum, explore the science behind it, and discuss what it can mean for me, you, and humanity. Hello, I'm Ben Leo, and this is GBN Originals. The space rock making headlines is asteroid 2024 YR4. According to NASA's latest calculations, this celestial body now has a 3.1% probability of smashing Earth on December the 22nd, 2032. Christmas off the calendar then. That's roughly a 1 in 32 chance, higher than the 2.3% chance initially reported, and nearly double the risk calculated when it was first identified as a potential threat back in December last year. Now, you might be thinking 3.1% doesn't sound that bad, but in the world of planetary defence, that's an unsettlingly high number. For context, most near-Earth objects, or NEOs as we'll call them, have probabilities in the range of 1 in a million or lower. A 1 in 32 chance is enough to warrant serious attention from scientists and governments worldwide. Let's talk about the size then of this cosmic intruder. Experts estimate the asteroid 2024 YR4 is between 130 and 300 feet wide, so I guess that's about the size of a large mansion or a city block. While it's not as massive as other known asteroid threats, its potential for destruction is still pretty big. If it were to strike Earth, for example, scientists estimate the impacts would unleash energy equivalents of up to 7.7 .7 megatons of TNT. Big explosion. And to put that into perspective, that's about 500 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. And the resulting crater would be nearly 3,000 feet wide, enough to totally obliterate an entire city, so you should be worried. One of the most concerning aspects of asteroid 2024 YR4 is its potential impact zone. NASA's identified a risk corridor that stretches across a vast portion of our planet. The corridor begins in South America, crosses the Atlantic Ocean to Sub-Saharan Africa, and then continues over the Arabian Sea to India. And by the way, more than 100 million people live within that region. Using the internet without a VPN, a virtual private network, is a bit like taking to the road without car insurance. All it takes is one unlucky moment to cost you a lot of cash. This video's sponsor is Private Internet Access. They are the VPN to help keep you safe. Click the link in the description below to find out why over 30 million people have downloaded PIA to protect themselves online. A virtual private network is an app that hides your IP address and helps keep your data private. When you're browsing the internet at home, you give up a large amount of data to businesses, to shops, and indeed to social media giants too. Hackers have the ability to steal your personal data with ease, including sensitive information such as passwords, keystrokes, and even your personal photos. Private internet access helps protect your personal data by encrypting your internet connection to keep your data out of the hands of cyber criminals. And it's not just hackers either to be concerned about information can be censored too. When Canada passed their C-18 bill, social media giants decided to ban news content on their platforms. But PIA can protect your ability to consume the news and content you love. Private internet access is available for Windows users, Mac OS, Android, Linux, iOS, and you can use one PIA subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices. And we've got a huge GB News discount for you too. Click the link in this video's description and you'll get a massive 83% off PIA. That's under £2 a month, the price of a coffee, and you'll get an extra four months completely free on top. Also, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee too. Visit piavpn.com forward slash gbnews to start protecting yourself digitally today. While scientists can't yet pinpoint an exact impact location, they're working tirelessly to refine their models. Observations over the next few years will be critical in narrowing down where, if anywhere, this asteroid might strike. Former Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield has weighed in on asteroid 2024 YR4 and its composition, describing it as likely being a stony, loose collection of rock fragments that have slowly collated over time. This detail is significant because it suggests that the asteroid would likely remain intact upon entering Earth's atmosphere, rather than breaking apart into lots of smaller pieces upon entry. If it does hit Earth, fragments could shoot outward at speeds exceeding 10 miles per second, creating secondary damage far beyond the initial impact site. 
It's a scenario that scientists are closely studying as they assess potential outcomes. Will it be, as we saw with the dinosaurs, the end of the human race as we know it? Scientists have outlined two main scenarios if this asteroid were to reach Earth. Number one, surface impact. A direct hit would devastate an area roughly the size of Washington, D.C. The explosion would cause widespread destruction, levelling buildings and infrastructure within a significant radius. I guess that's one way to drain the swamp in D.C., by the way. Uh, number two, airburst explosion. Alternatively, the asteroid could completely explode mid-air before reaching the surface, similar to the infamous Tugansaka event of 1908. For those unfamiliar with Tugansaka, it was the most explosive impact event in recorded history. An asteroid detonated over Siberia with a force equivalent to 50 million tonnes of TNT. It flattened 80 million trees across 830 square miles of forest. So while neither scenario is ideal, to say the least, Scientists reckon that further observations will likely rule out any collision entirely. NASA scientists are closely monitoring asteroid 2024 YR4 using advanced telescopes and radar systems. Observations will continue until April 2025 when the asteroid becomes too faint to detect. And after that, astronomers won't be able to observe it again until June 2028. The James Webb Telescope is scheduled to begin observing the asteroid in March 2025, not May, as previously reported, providing critical data on its size, composition and, most crucially, trajectory. These observations will help refine calculations and determine whether deflection efforts might be necessary. So think of those laser beams in the Hollywood movies blasting up into space and blowing it to smithereens. It could happen. For now, NASA has rated asteroid 2024 YR4 as a 3 on the Torino scale, which measures both the likelihood and potential consequence of an impact. While the rating is concerning, a little bit worrying, it's one of the highest given to any known asteroid, it's important to remember that further data could lower or completely eliminate the risk entirely. And if worse comes to worse, an asteroid 2024 YR4 is determined to pose a serious threat, humanity already has tools at its disposal to prevent disaster. In September 2022, NASA did successfully test its Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART for short, mission by deliberately crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid called Dimorphos. The mission proved that we can alter the asteroid's orbit if we act early enough. And as Chris Hadfield explained, the Canadian astronaut, if you hit it early enough, even a tiny angular change can cause it to miss Earth. So while deflecting an asteroid like YR4 would require very careful planning and international cooperation, DART has shown us that such efforts are possible and hopefully effective. Neil deGrasse Tyson addressed these concerns directly on X, formerly Twitter, by writing, now might be a bad time to reduce spending on science. Just saying, his words are a stark reminder of how crucial continued investment in space exploration and planetary defence really is. And to put asteroid 2024 YR4 into perspective, let's compare it with three other known asteroid threats. Number one, Bennu. It had a size of 0.3 miles, or just under half a kilometre, with an impact probability of 0.037%. Uh, it was due to strike, if it did, on September the 24th, 2182. The potential impact was the energy equivalent to 1.4 billion tonnes of TNT. You could call it explosive. Number two, the 1950 DA. The size was 0.8 miles or 1.3 kilometres. It had a 0.0029% chance of impact probability, and that would have been on March 16th, 2880. And the potential impacts was... Global catastrophe, very good. And number three was the 2023 TL4 asteroid. It had a size of 0.2 miles or 0.33 kilometers, an impact probability, very slim actually, of 0.00055%, and it would strike on October the 10th, 2119. And the potential impact to Earth was an energy equivalent of 7.5 billion tons of TNT. So while YR4 may not be the largest or most destructive threat in terms of size or energy potential, its combination of higher impact probability and nearer time frame makes it particularly noteworthy and underscores, I'd say, why Tyson's warning should not be ignored. And as we keep our eyes on the skies, we're reminded not only of our vulnerability as a human race, but also of our resilience as a species when we work together towards common goals. Continued investment in scientific research and space exploration isn't just about understanding our universe, it's about protecting our planet too from threats like asteroid 2024 YR4.
This moment calls for global cooperation and innovation in planetary defence strategies so we can ensure a safer future for generations to come. Thank you for watching. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll be fine. This has been Ben Leo. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates as we continue tracking this story closely.